Tell me about Last Man on Earth. I've seen it. It's very funny. Even my, even my dad likes the show. And my dad only really watches news and sports, and he likes nice. the show. We were shooting for the dads, so that's good to hear. Uh, no man, we've known each other for years. These guys created a show called Clone High for MTV, ninety eight and no, wait two two thousand and one two thousand two yeah two thousand one two thousand two. They let me be Abraham Lincoln in it. Since then, they've gone on to. Oh my God, Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs, uh, 21 and 22 Jump Street, the Lego movie, they're amazing. So we've known each other for years and they said, do you want to write something together? And we all came up with the, the concept of The Last Man on Earth. Okay. And that yeah. hilarious virus has uh, wiped out all of humanity. Yes. And uh, as you would imagine, it's very funny. Uh, and Will stars as uh, Phil Miller, the guy, The Last Man on Earth, or, or so he thinks at the beginning anyway. And, and it's about uh, how to start over a new society. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of post-apocalyptic post -apocalyptic television right now. Did y'all yeah. get inspired by anything? Or? No, not really. I mean, I mean we, we like all the stuff that's out there. I, I think we, we didn't go into it thinking, oh, there's this trend in, in uh, post-alopatiptic uh, uh, post stuff. We definitely didn't say that. No. No, but we, you know, we, we uh, we just thought of this idea, in fact, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, at, at, at first I think that that was a, a non-selling point, like, we, like, oh, there's a lot of that already out there, uh, but then we thought of a, a kind of an adjustment on the idea that we initially had, which, which made it seem really fun and, and different, and so that's, that's when we thought, oh, let's, let's give this a go, and uh, we thought it would be quite different than the other stuff that is out there which we do think is great. Yeah. Okay, so uh, tell me about about some of the stuff that you do when you're by yourself on this show. You're, you're, you're burning toilet <laughs> oh, paper, man. Uh, you're, you're roasting popcorn on a, on a shopping cart. How did y'all come up with these ideas? It's a lot of just, we have, I'm in this room with some of my best buddies and people I've worked with for years, and these guys, you know, known them for almost 20 years. There are people on the writing staff from SNL and and uh, from when I was working on Third Rock from the Sun. Just these great friendships, and we that's it's the most fun th thing in the world to to just come up with these ideas that sound like fun to do. What and then would I get to if yeah, you, uh, if you could do anything, and and turns yeah. out it's like smash a bunch of aquariums with a bowling ball. A lot yeah. of it is your personal fantasy. Of I what you I like do. breaking stuff. Yeah, you really like. Sure. You're really motivated by breaking things. Where did aquariums come from? I think we were, we're just looking for an escalation. I, I yeah. don't remember. I think it was just, uh, it just seemed like a fun thing. If there was the, in addition to smashing, there was also the 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 water pouring out. It seemed kind of yeah. fun. Did the popcorn work right away? It takes a while to get going. Get the yeah. Heat. You would think with a flamethrower that popcorn would just start popping, but you you can overburn it. Uh, so so you it just you right have to touch. get the right. You have to shoot from underneath and have oil in there, and then it does start popping up. And I actually was very proud of myself because I was able to catch one in my mouth. Yeah, that was pretty. Actually, cool. it was. The, thank the God show. I had that the thick yeah. beard because it got it's like hot. A, it's like a catcher's mitt. It's like a thing. spider yeah. <laughs> spider web of yeah. hair. So, so by your beard now, am I to guess that the beard is coming back? Because the beard, beard is gone as of This is for a different job, but but there is, if we were to get a second season, I could see starting out with the beard again because of... Events that happen. Events that happen, and we, we have spoilers. And it's pretty iconic, that beard. It became a, it became a thing that people... Yeah. A lot of people liked to draw and paint it. There's a lot of fan art for the show already, which is pretty cool. It's a burly, it is a burly beard. There's there are a lot beautiful. of people with amazing beards out. You've got a, a wonderful beard. Yeah. But but not too many people go for this part of the beard. And that was the exciting thing about my beard was that this is what makes you a crazy person. This is like, this is, That's you cool. look like a respectable person. Yeah. This is a crazy person. Yeah, yeah. Right. And neither of the last women on earth liked you without the beard. It's yeah, it's, it's. Surprising, but that's more like my real life anyway. <laughs> more at home. All right. So without giving too much away about what's to come, what what sort of spot is Phil in right now? He's, he's last man on earth. He's got an annoying woman, and he's got uh, you know Betty from Met. Well, you know he's he's uh, 
trying to figure out how to answer this without giving away spoilers. I mean, he's in, in the predicament you would, you would imagine somebody would be in, like, like uh, uh, he's feeling feelings uh, towards this new woman, but he's, he doesn't want to disrespect Carol, both because he's a nice person and because he uh, knows that it would also look bad in front of the other woman. So he's got to figure out how to, how to play this. And, and uh, we figured out something fun. Uh, it's, it's, that's the exciting thing for us about the show is that just when you think you know how it's going, something happens to take it off in a different direction. And, and uh, you know, we, we, throughout the whole first, first season, we feel like we've uh, come up with some fun uh, twists and turns to keep you on your toes. Yeah, there's no formula for the episodes. You know, yeah. Each one is unique, and then it winds up turning into something else by the next one. Yeah. You think, I, oh, I know exactly. Yeah, okay, yeah. I get what the show is now. And then the next episode, you're like, oh, wait, nope, I didn't know what it was. That's what's really fun about it. It really helps to start at the beginning. You know, it's a yeah. rare started, episodic. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, a serialized, very serialized comedy. So catch up online, guys. Yeah. You want to watch them in order, app. but I would Hulu. say that Hulu, Hulu. all Hulu. of it. It's yeah. all over. Or, it's yeah, impossible not to have a it. friend uh, tell you about it over the telephone. Yeah. There's a lot of different media. I'm going to give you my phone number afterwards, and I want you to give it to everybody, and I'll just explain. A, <laughs> we've set up a landline where Will can just describe the episode for you. I think the funniest thing so That's far. actually a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. In okay. case you don't own a television computer or... Or you just need Cliff's notes. Sometimes you can go back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's right. You've given us a great idea. Yeah, what? Exactly. Maybe you just hate watching stuff. Maybe yeah, you're yeah. just. Yeah. But you don't want to be left out. Or yeah. if you're like, some people are auditory learners, so they would be better off actually. With the experience would be better for them just with your I'm summary. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. God, we learned a lot here. I guess last This question, interview. It's, it's, uh, it's getting good reviews and people like it. My dad likes it. I like it. Yeah, that's. I love that your dad likes it because that was the dream for us. We're like, oh, I know, like our hipster friends will like it, but will our parents go for it? And all he likes is news and sports and right. He likes SNL and stuff like that. Yeah. He knew you from SNL. Oh, great. But he doesn't watch. Uh, he doesn't watch shows, and he watches his show. He made nice. my mom sit down and watch it. That's so great. Like, I gotta watch oh, that's how'd your mom it. feel? How'd your mom? My mom likes it too. Yeah. But wow. not as much as your dad. I think it's equal. Oh. But she watches shows, so it's not that special. Your mom's going to be so upset that you didn't bring her up, too. Yeah. You're right. Dad was really <laughs> top of mind yeah, there. But she wouldn't have watched it had it not been for my dad. So okay, okay. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's there you go. Yeah, well, that's great. That's a, a, thank them for watching it. Yes. Yeah, it's been, cool. an, it's been a pleasant surprise that people uh, people have liked it, and it's, it's doing well, and it's got it's got a lot of fans. But it's it's universal. You know, like, the, the, the themes and the style might be a little bit unusual, but it's really about... You know, people and human interaction, and what it's really a heightened version of dilemmas that everybody faces. So, like, should you be with January Jones or not? I have that. That's a real Everyone yeah. faces that a lot all of people the time. understand what that feels like. But her last name is Shart. Yes. It's a big term. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of Sharts in America. Yeah. It's an overlooked Literally last and name. figuratively. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> that, that's my favorite. There's one it's right true. now. How did the first like person named Shart? Like get that? Were they first of all were they named Shart Smith or something <laughs> before they went through Ellis Island? And it was because they were sort of that was right. their occupation. Yeah. Shart, we, yeah. Our Shart take on it was that that it was, uh, you know, Gary shit married Helen Fart, <laughs> and they was like, you know, they were the shit farts, and then it just there was it took too much time. So, so then they. This it. can definitely make it on the air. Right? This should be on the air. Yeah, this well, is live. Right? This is the shit fart. This is the tease. So yeah. This is the tease. Okay. I guess.